Hello and welcome to another how to video. My name is Ditech, CTO here at DVS in Cardiff, and don't forget to like, bing, subscribe, bing, comment, share, whatever you want. Uh, sit down, watch it with your nan, get a cup of tea with your brother, um, or just go in the toilet and watch it for 10 minutes. Today, we are going to take a look at the handheld thermal scope from Hike Vision. So really excited to have this. It's um, quite an expensive bit of kit. Well, in real terms, it's not that expensive, um, but it is just to have laying about. So we've kindly borrowed this from Hike Vision. So the thermal monocular, if you don't know what it is, is a handheld thermal uh, device which you can use for spotting. Uh, lots of people use them in like the hunting world or security world to spot in uh, when you're out on patrol or spot checking, etc. You can also use them for hotspots if you're, you know, out and about and you see like it could be potential for a, a fire or like electricity supply overheating. You you can also see things like that on there which you'll see clearly in a minute but thank you for all the likes shares and comments you've done so far keep it up guys we've got a really good subscriber base and family out there and obviously I want to retire soon so uh, keep on subscribing I'm only joking um, so what do you get in the box this model is the new upgraded one the DS-2T S03-25UF stroke W with the built-in Wi-Fi um, this has got the be better battery life built in Wi-Fi so you can connect this to uh, existing Wi-Fi so what you can do is put a dedicated Wi-Fi router on site you program it as per the credentials the router SSID and password will be programmed as per the leaflet in here when you turn that on you enable the Wi-Fi mode this monocular will connect to the Wi-Fi which will then let you add it to an NVR software etc so the guard can keep an eye on the guard doing a patrol so it's a live feedback from the guard doing a patrol so that's one way of using it the second way is which I'm going to show you because I can't reconfigure my whole Wi-Fi here just to show you that function is a hotspot function so you enable the hotspot function on here you can add it to your Hike Connect app on your phone and then you can have that as a, 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 a like a portable handheld device uh, other people can connect it or you can actually uh, take snapshots or film as people are going around on it but obviously that's not as good as Wi-Fi in a building because the hotspot range isn't as far so on to the exciting stuff so inside the box then you just love that Apple feeling Steve Jobs definitely got that right. so inside the box you've got a nice foam cutout here is the thermal monocular so uh, eyepiece uh, focusing adjustment you've got your rubber touch buttons on there you've got your on off button at the front menu buttons built-in menu inside the OSD You've got the standard uh, thread so you can fit that onto a tripod. Um, if you're using it for like securing, you want to put it onto a tripod bipod. You've got the protective lens cover which just clicks on and off like so. And you've also got the waterproof uh, USB. I can never do this because I've got no nails. If anyone's got any suggestions on how to stop by your nails, please let me know. Without nails, this is a very difficult job. But there we go. So that's the charging port with a little light that tells you when it's being charged. And you've got the included hand strap. So if you're like me and you're worried you're going to drop it, just always put it through your hand. Um, I've been known to drop a lot of stuff. So under the phone packaging, take the phone packaging out. Underneath there, you have the full instructions. So you can take that to bed and read that to your heart's content. So it's a double-sided spread. That's all of the menu functions. If you read this, it will explain everything about the menu functions. It's very, very simple, very basic, um, but a very powerful tool. So you can adjust things like the uh, palette color. You can do the distance measurement. It's got a bit built-in distance measurement tool. Hotspot mark, record capture, digital zoom, shutter release, network configuration, and how to turn it on and off. And you can got sleep mode on it, etc. Um, so that's nice and handy, so I'll fold that up and put that in there. What else do you get? You get three boxes contained in there. Within box number one, you have a cleaning cloth, very important. And you also have this handy hand puppet. Now, I'm not sure about you, but there's no face on this, so this hand puppet is not that good. It's not a hand puppet, Jake, is it? Oh, oh, sorry. A sock. 
Oh, a sock, you say? Oh, right. Okay. One of those socks, eh, Jake? Yeah. So you take this. You might want to spit on it to give it some lubrication. Well, it's definitely for me. Um, that then fits over there like so. And you've got a neoprene sock, which and you can tighten on it, which keeps it nice and protected and dry and warm. So we've got that. So I'll put that back in there. You've also got a USB charging cable. The battery's built in. You can't remove it, it's sealed inside. So you just uh, actually charge it with the battery in situ. Quite a lot of modern devices are like that, that's no problem. And inside this little box then, you have another strap. So a bigger strap for your neck. Click in there. And if you're like me and you want to go out in the night, spotting things. Hi, hi, Captain. Uh, don't forget to take the lens cover off, otherwise you're not going to see anything. Um, and there you go. So that's all the accessories. Now the next part is quite difficult to show you. Let me take this strap off. Um, what I'm going to try and demonstrate is... Basically, if you can imagine, I've called the menu. I've turned this on. Let me just turn it on. You press and hold the button for about five seconds to turn it on. You'll see there's a little green light there which indicates it's on. It'll go red when the battery needs charging. Um, what you'll see, I'll try and show you now, um, is... You can see that's the view you get through the viewfinder. It's quite difficult to show you, I know. And if I call the menu... By pressing and holding the menu button, which is the one with the three dots on it, you can see... On, the, on that side there, that's the menu choices. You navigate up and down there, and then left and right and select the choice. Like I say, it is very, very simple to navigate. That's the built-in menu. I've turned it into hotspot mode, which is the second down from the top. It's in hotspot mode, not Wi-Fi mode. I'll just exit the menu by pressing and holding it again, and the menu will disappear. But as you can see, uh, there we go. If I turn it around here, So you can see there is the um, new modular intercom station. You can see when you look at it through the thermal, you can see that's quite warm. So it's really good. You can change the pallet scheme if you like. I'll turn you back around. What we're going to do now is link it to my phone. So to link it to your phone, put that safe so it doesn't fall off anywhere. They don't want to be uh, in charge of a place in that one. Okay, so, as I said, open up the Hike Connect app. Make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi on the device. So you can see there, um, the Wi-Fi on this, wait for it to focus, is that Hike IPT. So each device has got its own unique uh, serial number, which is D09, etc. So that'll be the unique uh, WLAN off that monocular. So I'm going to connect to it. I've already connected to it previously. Now the paperwork does say to use the password for the WLAN function as S plus the serial number. Forget the S plus, the paperwork's wrong. I've already pointed this out to the engineers. It's just the serial number. Um, much to my frustration, I found that out. So it's the serial number, it'll connect to that. Once we've connected to it, what we do then is open up the High Connect app, which I've already opened. Make sure that I have that in WLAN mode. That is, now we open up High Connect again. Now this takes a little bit of time. When you go to open up the High Connect app, once you've connected your phone uh, to this Unis WLAN, the High Connect app itself will take a while to open, longer than normal. Bear with it, it will open. What you need to do then is a trick, and again, another little uh, quirky trick, is go to the plus symbol, go to online device. You'll see the device online there. So if you can see, uh, it's online, very bright I know, let that focus on there, click on that, the device has already been added, 
when you select the device first for it to be added, what you'll notice is the gateway IP address is missing. Type in any gateway IP address and save it, and then turn DHCP on and save it, and then it will let you add the device. Again, another little thing that's not in the paperwork, and I found out to much of my frustration. So just bear that in mind, add the gateway, save it, turn DHCP on, and then save it, and then it will allow you to add it. When you first add it to an app, the unit is deactive, so when you click on uh, add device, it will ask you to activate it, so you type in the password of your choosing. I've already done that. So what we're gonna do now is put the phone on the table. So if I move you around, sorry about the mess, I know it's messy in here, but I'm a working man and I need to work. Okay, so you can see my phone and you can see the app. I'm gonna turn the lights off so it's more focused. Okay, so after some uh, manual tweaking with the focus, because obviously he was trying to adjust and I made my phone brighter, I've actually got the device in my hand. And you can see, as I move around my demo room, that's a video monitor wall. You can see the four tiles there. This is in the darkness. That's one of the pods with a monitor and two cameras. And as I go around, you'll see uh, some notable, noticeable shapes. Again, back down the other end of the room, so you've got that intercom unit. Another pod, another pod. The door, and we've got the uh, intercom unit, the indoor station. You've got the aircon and exit button. You've got my phone there. <laughs> um, what's interesting is if I go over here, what you can see now is I'm looking at the wall, and you can actually see the buttons in the wall, you can see how defined they are. So again, if I go by here, it's more pronounced. So you can quickly see where the heat of the wood buttons is coming through. So it's a plasterboard wall with heated wood, with the uh, wood buttons are a different temperature to the plasterboard. So I can clearly see now, there you go, that's under the monitor. You can quickly see And again, if I go down there, you can see me. There you have it. So you can see now all the lights are back on. And you can see what benefit that technology can bring uh, to different solutions and applications. Like I say, you don't need external lighting like other solutions may. Thermal imaging uh, relies on uh, temperature differences between objects and every object reflects temperatures at different rates. That's why you can see the image as it is. If you need to know any more, ask our talented technical or sales staff here or drop us a message. We'll try to help you the best we can. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, it's one of the technologies you don't really get to see much um, in base and a handheld, so we thought we'd run through it. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget, keep liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll see you next week for the next how to video. Take care. See you next week.